Hi friends, Striking Viking here. I just wanted to bring you up to date on our shenanigans of late. This morning I got up and I had myself a banana with some peanut butter. And it's a good thing I had that banana with some peanut butter too. Because I set about repairing our water heater. If you remember from our previous video, I determined that the water heater needed one of three parts. So while we were away this last weekend, I bought one of the parts and I determined I was going to put it in this morning. Well, after my banana with peanut butter, I went out there and I took... <laughs> I'm sorry, there seems to be some kerfuffle going on in the background. Could be the trip and sister. I went out there and I removed the parts, the thermostat and the ECO. They came in a kit along with a lovely gasket. I took the old ones out. I cleaned the area nice and clean. I put the new ones in. I put the gasket on. And it looked fabulous. Then I went to collect, connect the leads. Guess what? <laughs> <laughs> the leads on the ECO and the leads on the thermostat are two different sizes. They didn't say that in the package. That was not in the brochure. So... I removed the ECO, and I removed the thermostat, and I removed the gasket. Then I switched them places, and I put them in, then I hooked them up, reconnected them, and lo and behold, the water heater did not work. <laughs> Boy, it's a good thing I had that banana with peanut butter this morning, because so, at least I got something going for me. Anyway, so now we have determined that it can only be one of two possible parts, the circuit board or the spark and sense module. Now, uh, with the circuit board, I know that when the power is turned on, it is passing through the path that it has to pass to go into the circuit board because I can hear it click. What I do not hear is tick, 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 whoosh for the <laughs> spark and the flame to come on. But I know that the flame works, and I know that... Uh, that the other parts work, so I guess the next thing is a circuit board. Now that's $128, which seems like a terrible price to pay. Am I not sure I could find one in a wrecked RV somewhere? Probably. But uh, if I can rule that out, then I'll know that the only last thing that is not working is the spark and sense. Anyway, uh, so that's all I have for you today. And boy, am I glad I had that banana with peanut butter. <laughs> and Trip and Sister is still guffawing in the background, so... Here's Striking Viking saying, keep tripping and I'll keep you updated with the water heater as we go on.